per atmosphere traveling down the eastern seaboard. This doesn't look like a collapse to me. This looks like jet engines shooting upward. Where did it go? And a building that's often forgotten. We have Tower 3 here, which was between 1 and 2. 22-story building. Early on, I'd see pictures on the web of Building 6, and I'd see pictures of Building 3, and I got them confused and thought they were the same building because they both have these vertical cylindrical cutouts. Now, why would this be freestanding afterwards, just be, be left standing like that? And if this collapsed, where did the material go? Everything's ground level here. The fire trucks didn't get uh, hit. All the windows blew out, but they didn't get damaged otherwise. And here's a picture a couple of days later, about the same shot. There's nothing left of that 22-story building. Ground level. A few of these uh, wheat checks from Tower 1's western wall, and that's about it of the entire Building 1. Look how uh, where people are standing. That's just one thickness of the beam, just laid out perfectly on the street, as though they danced over and laid down so they'd be easy to load. This is what was there the day before. A lot of building that just disappeared. Here's where the towers were, and here's where Building 3 was. And we hear about the toasted cars. They were over here. There was paper between the two locations. Nothing burned. And of course, those uh, cutouts out of Building 6, and we have cutouts out of Building 5, and what happened to the rest of Building 4? That's where the tower stood. <clears throat> and this is an interesting map done by the USGS. It shows how Building 6 had that uh, group of 24-foot diameter holes in it, just removing about 50% of the building's mass. I wonder why they'd want to do that. And notice out here in Liberty Street, these big holes in Liberty Street. Empty at the bottom. But what is the most bizarre is you're missing two 110-story buildings, and the rubble pile for them is almost non-existent compared to buildings 4, 5, and 6, the height of, of them. But this is building 4. It used to cover a lot more area. Only the north wing of Building 4 is left standing. The rest is just missing. And again, there's Building 4. It used to cover this much territory. And uh, I think it's supposed to pick out that hole in the street. It goes down maybe uh, 60 feet. What's it there for? If something fell in it, we should have the, whatever it was that fell in it, sitting in it, on top of the uh, hole, or filling it up. And a closer view of Building 6. What could cause this? More importantly, where did the, this is the northern direction. This is Building 1, where it stood, Tower 1. That's the northern wall. It was 110 stories tall. Building 6, this rubble pile is not 8 stories tall. It isn't even 1 story tall. But let's, let's say it's 8 or 10 stories tall. Where are the other 100 stories? Where's the northern wall? This is Building 7 rubble pile. These holes are empty. It's missing in action. Where did it fall? And there's the postal building over here never got a scratch on it all day.
This is the street between the two. Let's, okay. This is VC Street. This is West Street. And we're going to look at that intersection. Right after the event, there's paper on the ground, but nothing else. A few pieces of aluminum cladding up here. You, you could drive a four-wheeler over it, no problem. You probably drive a two-wheel regular sedan over it. You might worry about hurting the tires, but you could negotiate through. Something interesting, I don't know if it's how well it shows up here. Um, the various fire trucks all seem to have lost their windows. Again, we're just looking at the data. We don't know what would cause that, but it's interesting. Nothing seemed to have fallen on them. There's just paper on the ground, but they're missing the windows. Here's some fellows working on something. They're getting ready to plug in their fire hose, probably, and put out this fire. But what caught the, those cars on fire? There's just paper leading up to the cars. And again, we're down here on West Street looking north toward Building 7. Looking at the shadows, it looks like it's just a little bit before noon on 9-11. There should be that tower between us. The pedestrian walkway you can see over here, it's like one story off the ground. Where did it all go? Another uh, picture, this is from FEMA. My, the pictures I've collected, I've deliberately gotten them from a variety of sources as somewhat of a check. Uh, a lot of them are from FEMA, some from the Library of Congress, uh, various other sites. Those are the main, two main ones. But look at the rubble pile, or whatever you want to call it. There's just not much in here. They don't park ambulances up on the 10th floor, that, so that tells you where ground level is. But another thing we'll notice is, uh, okay, here's the rubble pile from Building 7. And by comparison, where is, where is Building 1? We see a lot of these fumes coming out of the ground. And I use a totally different vocabulary. It, some folks could say it looks like smoke. But if we call that smoke, we're biasing our observations. We're trying to imagine that it's something from fire. But let's just call it fumes, fumes from who knows what but fumes. So there's a lot of fumes and it's coming out of the rubble pile of Building 7 as well as Building 1. Maybe even 6. This is a picture a couple of days later of Building 7 from the other side, from the back side. You got uh, some wall there but not a whole lot of anything else but at least it looks a little taller. This is a picture from the east looking west through the complex. This is where Tower 1 stood. You look at ground level from east to west without any obstruction. Where's the rubble pile? That's what you used to, you used to be able to see through that same view. So all of that material went somewhere. Where did it go? Also, it should be noted that uh, this plaza here doesn't have dirt on it. There's no dirt at, at the uh, World Trade Center complex. Maybe people have a few potted plants in their office. You'll see in the second presentation an unbelievable amount of dirt. And uh, this, this will look like it used to be a uh, baseball field. That's what used to be there. That's what's in right afterwards. That is a lot of material. Now let's see if we can find building uh, six. Building six like, is like right about that elevation. It towers over the rubble pile of tower one. We're missing material. Now this is an interesting sheet that's laying out in the middle of West Street. It looks like a 20-story section of the western wall, hopped over 100 feet, did this pirouette, rotated around, and then laid down in the middle of the street. It almost made it, but nicked this corner just a little bit. It's just, it's just one wall thickness, neatly laid down there. But there's no other chunks like that anywhere. 